Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 13th, 2020. Hey guys, I'm sorry this video was late this morning. I had a major technical problem with a microphone issue, so I'm re-recording this video. I'm probably going to sound just a little bit different than normally because of that change, so I apologize. Hopefully the sound is acceptable. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And please keep in mind, we have a busy week ahead of us to consider with um, signing of phase one trade deal, with a big economic calendar, with um, uh, earnings starting this week. We have a lot to consider. And I got to tell you, over the weekend, there was so many contradictions in the news. We have those saying that things were getting better with the Iranian situation, those saying things are getting worse. We had people saying, oh, things are going to get much better with China now, and those saying things with China are going to only get worse. We have had um, lots of predictions back and forth on the um, state of the market and what this season of earnings is doing. As a matter of fact, Goldman Sachs and BAC, it was reported that they have gone to their customers suggesting everyone move to a very passive um, situation. They're moving their customers to a dividend uh, type strategy because they expect a very low growth in the market over the next year. While on the other hand, there are those out there predicting that 2020 will be a huge year for the market. So pretty darn interesting um, in what's going on. So a lot of confusion, a lot of contradiction. Here's what I wanna say to that. As traders, as retail traders, one of the best things that we can do is to set aside our bias and set aside all of that contradictory news where everyone's talking up their own positions. And let's be a little bit more focused on the price action of the chart itself. Everything that's known about a stock is reflected in the price action of that chart. So let's focus on those charts and remember to not be complacent. It's easy in a market that is trending so strongly to get very complacent thinking there's no chance we could go down. But I want you to understand that's usually when it really goes down. And if we get complacent and um, we don't pay attention to a good set of trading rules and standards, we can put ourselves in a serious situation. So be careful over trading, be careful in becoming over complacent in this market. Having said that, let's take a look at the indexes and let's see what happened here. Now on Friday, we left we left a bearish engulfing candle in this chart. Now bearish engulfing candle just suggests more lows could be on the way, but remember bearish engulfing candle also requires that to follow through. And as of this morning, we see futures trying to push higher. They're trying to put a brave face on this morning, pushing um, the Dow a little bit higher, but it will not overcome that bearish engulfing candle, at least at the open, if it opens as it is right now. Dow futures are, are say, suggesting 98 points higher, but we won't overcome that um, bearish engulfing candle if that is the case. And in that situation, we set up that possibility for that gap up and then see sellers coming in so we could get that pop and drop. We'll want to watch carefully for that. So just be really careful not to chase into this gap up this morning, thinking that there is absolutely nothing to worry about. And remember, there was a bearish engulfing candle left there on Friday. So a little bit of contradiction going on here in that futures market. Let's take a look and notice that we are still in a very strong uptrend and that has not changed. That bearish engulfing can candle on Friday doesn't change that. So we'll wanna watch this pretty closely. Bullish trends remain in effect, although there is a little bit of, just a little bit of a warning shot over the bow that we need to be made aware of here in the market. So be a little careful. Again, don't be complacent. Make sure when you plan a trade, you have an exit plan in case you are wrong. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, pushing on up this morning as well, giving us a little tiny gap up this morning, trying to push higher here and put on a brave face. Now keep in mind, even Asian, I mean, Asian markets were, were bullish last night, but European markets um, as of right now are 
flat to mostly lower. And they're looking at these geopolitical concerns and things like that. And they're not seeing the bullishness right now that we're showing in the Dow futures. You might want to consider that before just chasing in thinking, oh my gosh, I'm missing out this morning. Let's take a look. Um, SPY still holding that big, beautiful bullish trend. No changes there, but just keep in mind, we have that little warning up there of that bearish engulfing candle. Um, the Q's, Q's very, very strong, holding up strongly here, as you can see in a trend. And again, we had that bearish engulfing candle on Friday, and we're getting just an ever so slight little push up this morning here in the NASDAQ, trying to overcome that bearish engulfing candle, just trying to show lots and lots of confidence overall um, in the market. Last but not least, IWM. IWM has a little bit more of a problem. Now, if we pull this back, we can see we ended up holding on Friday. We held this price support in here, pushing back up on the day. But let's also keep in mind that we are technically in a downtrend here with two lower highs in play. So, um, let's watch this as price resistance in here. If we can push on through, we could be in great shape. However, if we happen to fail and drop down below this support level, um, IWM could be that little clue leading us a little bit lower. Let's watch that pretty carefully. Um, we're right on that cusp of trying to make that decision here in IWM. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. This is one of those places that and I've been mentioning this for a while that I have just a little bit of concern, and that is on complacency. And you can see we're holding down here. Um, no fear in this market, and no fear is one of those things that um, where we kind of reach that point of complacency. Everyone gets kind of lulled into this um, uh, security that the market will not fall again. But just keep in mind, as we run into earnings reports, that's where we could start to stumble if we happen to have a problem, if we happen to have a problem in those earnings. Keep in mind, we're still downtrending here, so no fear showing up in this market. And we had just a little teeny tiny kick up here on Friday, but certainly nothing um, really notable to pay attention to, but just a little bit of worry going on there. Let's um, take a look at the T2122, uh, and I think this is kind of an interesting chart here. In the T2122, even though we struck 29,000 in the Dow on Friday, um, there was a report out um, on Friday afternoon saying that we actually made that happen with just three stocks. Three stocks were two thirds of that entire move to hit 29,000. And that's reflected here in T2122. T2122 says by and large, the majority of the market was moving lower while we actually hit that new high. So we we'll want to consider that, that it was a very select big cap stocks that they were able to push just enough to hit 29,000 and just briefly before it pulled back. So we have a T2122 down here around that 50% area. And what it, T2122 doesn't give us any directional clues. It's not meant for that unless we're up here pushing into these reversal zones, um, really high or really low. So right now we're kind of down here in the middle. What that means is, is if the bulls can find some inspiration, we have plenty of room to move up now. Uh, because that pullback has occurred in the market. It also shows us, however, that we still have plenty of room to move to the downside. So we'll want to consider that as we move into earnings and all of these events coming up this week, that any shock in the market, we could go either direction pretty quickly. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a few things on it that could move us around this week, but really nothing today. We've got a couple of Fed speakers today to be concerned about. Um, not that we're gonna learn anything new from them, but they are on the calendar. In fact, we have a virtual parade of them this week um, on the economic calendar. And we have that treasury budget at two. I wouldn't expect that to move the market. But just keep in mind, we have a pretty heavy schedule of market moving events 
um, this week, along with a several other reports that have that potential to move the market as well. So keep that in mind. We have a big week on the economic calendar uh, coming up along with a earnings season kicking off this week. But today we don't have much going on on the earnings calendar. We have uh, just a few companies reporting and for the most part, none of them are going to be particularly notable. One um, that is notable today uh, and really only one that's notable today still hasn't reported. It's supposed to report before the bell. Notice we have big big ass spreads here that's about our biggest uh, notable report this morning so not much to really uh, move the market around today but keep in mind um, tomorrow we get reports from jp morgan we get reports from citibank we get reports from wfc so those big major institutional banks will start reporting and that will just start picking up um, our earnings season over this week and really Really, um, uh, getting busy next week so make sure you're planning your trades carefully and every time you look at a potential trade make sure you check out when that next earnings report is going to happen so that you're not getting trapped into a stock that may show some really good bullish signals but it's right before an earnings report when it can uh, drop pretty hard so watch those closely and make sure you're planning your trades carefully so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits in your trading and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up button or that bell icon um, when that pop-up message comes up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to you please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps us continue Continue to grow this channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that you know the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything they're to really settle down here a little bit look at the market closely and see what the market is how it's setting up and how we might want to approach for the day and remove that emotion and if you find that helpful um, every, please feel free to share this video with anyone share it on Twitter Facebook whatever um, the goal Goal here is to reach as many folks as we can and help them prepare uh, for their day just a little bit better and set aside that emotion and bias that so many people trade with so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and just keep in mind that every time I show a stock in this video it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you know I'm a big believer that every time you make a trade you should have a plan that fits you and your trading strategy so some stocks that you may see here just don't fit you at all some stocks may fit you but make sure you've done your evaluation there is no recommendation to buy out or sell any security in this video. So let's take a look at a few stocks. Now, first one I'm going to bring up is Etsy. And just for full disclosure, I actually hold this stock. I'm in Etsy here. I like this nice little trend moving up and the fact that we're trying to break into this gap. So watching that in here to see if we can come up here and fill this gap in the chart. This is a stock that we call a rounded bottom breakout. And I'm not looking for anything great going on in here I'm just looking for more of a reversion to the mean and see that maybe push up into here to recover some of that oversold condition in the chart Etsy looking very very good overall it's one I want to keep an eye on and one that I am holding let's take a look at BYND Beyond Meat is another one of those stocks breaking through that 50-day moving average, coming back up out of this nice little flat bottom. Now you can see it had a major rally up. Now this would be something that I would suggest is not ready to trade at the moment. As a matter of fact, what I would say is this probably needs a little bit of a rest, a little consolidation in here before I would be ready to trade this. There'd be too much risk on a pullback to the downside. So if this could consolidate in here and then pop on through, great. If it pulls back and holds a higher low, could be great. If it breaks on through and finds support and proves some support, 
great. There could be some opportunity in here. So put BYND on your list might be something to be watching for. Other stocks out there, there's more stocks right now than you can shake a stick at that are looking pretty decent. Take a look at Nike here. Nike holding up right above this 100 level. Now 100, those big round numbers tend to be natural support or resistance levels in a chart. And since we broke through there and we're proving to hold above that 100, I'm watching this for the potential of support. If we can find some inspiration in here for the bulls, the Nike bulls, then there may be that opportunity to use 100 as that launching pad to move on higher. So keep an eye on stocks like that, that are hovering around those highs, trying to show that strength in uh, those charts. Let's take a look at CGC. As you guys know, um, I've reported on this several times. CGC is a stock that I currently hold. I'm not expecting anything great out of this trade. Um, just a nice little bullish pattern. And once again, we have that rounded bottom breakout pattern, breaking above that 50, holding it as support, looking for a little bit of inspiration in this chart to maybe push on higher. Let's keep an eye on these resistance levels up above and see what happens. But right now, CGC is one of those charts I want to be keeping an eye on. Other places that you can look, um, PayPal. PayPal, whoops, PYPL. PayPal uh, breaking through resistance here in the chart, holding a nice trend to the upside. So as you can see, um, we're holding these levels in here. Any rest consolidation or pullback in here could set up the next opportunity to the upside. And I want to let you guys know that everything in those pay system stocks are doing that. Visa breaking through new highs, needs a little rest or pullback. Uh, MasterCard looking very, very strong, may need a little rest or pullback. Um, even stocks like SQ um, holding up quite well, breaking through some resistance levels. If that can hold some support in here, may have some opportunity for upside. So pay system stocks looking pretty good overall. Take a look at Lowe's. Lowe's holding up very, very well, breaking through some resistance here, getting this little tiny pullback toward this nice little trend. Let's watch Lowe's in here for that opportunity that this could find that support and continue to move higher. And then last but not least, what I'm going to show here today is another stock that I'm holding, and that's Starbucks. And Starbucks has been moving up nicely here, coming up out of this bottom. Nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern here in this bottom. Came up out of here holding a trend, breaking through levels of resistance and moving on higher. Watching this next level of resistance as a possible target in that chart. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm really liking this chart on this weekly. This is a nice little rally consolidation move and a bullish candle here on last week's move. So that possibility that this could move on higher. So Starbucks looking good, might wanna keep it on your list. And there's quite a few stocks out there, you know, stocks that um, all over the place, you know, following that whole dividend idea that um, some of the big investment banks are trying to move their folks to, uh, take a look at F Pfizer. Pfizer showing some strength here, moving up in this chart, just breaking through those resistance levels, holding up well. Friday was a good day. Uh, Pfizer is one of those nice big dividend payers that might be a place people might look if the market starts getting a little bit nervous or shaky. So as I've been speaking, the futures continue to try and show bullishness um, into the open. Be careful, be watchful of the potential of the pop and drop this morning. Let's make sure before we jump into any trades that there's actually follow through buying to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure you can click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the very best today, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, everyone.